Let's say we have three professionals working in informal learning settings, like science centers and museums. Each are at different points in their careers. Kim, an outreach educator at a maritime museum, wonders if working as a program designer might be a better fit. Nicholas, the head of education at a science center, wants to help his staff members expand their skills, but is unsure how. Maria, the CEO at a natural history museum, oversees eight departments and wants to ensure there's a more consistent approach to the hiring process. How do they reach their goals? Individuals who work in informal science settings frequently come from a rich, diverse set of backgrounds. They sometimes have difficulties in transitions from one career stage to another or in translating their existing set of skills into a new context. The ISL framework addresses the challenges of career progression by providing a structure that individuals and institutions can use to achieve career goals. So the ISL framework expresses competencies in four general domains. Two are with respect to an individual. The other two are at the level of the organization. We have a team of researchers that examine challenges for informal science education professionals through a series of interviews, focus groups, and workshop settings. We felt that it was important to use an evidence-based approach that was specific to the ISL field rather than adapting competencies and skill sets from other adjacent fields. What are the pathways I could take? I think it'll be most useful for me as a self-evaluation of my work. So I'm still trying to figure out what interests me, what skills do I need, and where do I want to take my career path. What does professional learning look like? We don't always have clear pathways of staff training and development. I think it's a good opportunity just to really talk with people and see where they are, kind of have some really more specific conversations. What I really like about this framework is that it provides an opportunity for some consistency, and that's at both the institutional level and for individuals when they think about what is their professional learning opportunities and how do they go deeper in their own role that they're currently in. What we plan to do in the future is continue taking input from professionals to help build out a set of resources and indicators that professionals can use to advance their individual career goals and that organizations can help to use to create a stronger working environment and a stronger um, community resource. Visit the ISL Framework website to learn how it can guide your career.